Hey, yo, together and very welcome to another episode of the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! <coughs> yeah. I wanted to sound cool and I totally <laughs> screwed that one up. Never mind then! We got a TVC on Vani Research Station Ladder Edition. Even though it doesn't show over the minimap, above the minimap, I still know the name of this map. Yeah. Okay. In the red and the top center of our new research station, it is the Red Zerg Nexus Basher. And now I said red twice. You should never, if you want to cast, you should never say the, the, the position or, or the name or the clan name or the color twice. Never, never, never. So let's see if I can do it better here and the uh, bottom center of our new research station in the blue playing for Pro Kings, it's Alex Usher. And yeah, I forgot that I'm a terror player, I think. Never mind, haven't done this for a lot, uh, for quite some time. Interestingly, for next special here, it's Gas Pool Hatch. And I'm not sure why you would choose such an opening on Vani Research Station. Uh, maybe because of the potential Reaper Harris or Reaper All In or whatever the 3 Rex Reaper build, which could happen. Uh, there are quite some possibilities to jump up. And it can be very strong. So this is definitely a, a lot safer. On the other hand, you will never, never get any damage done against a Terran on this map. Uh, the, the path to your opponent is quite long. Mm, the natural is safe in the pocket here. You've got a pack pocket expansion, so you can't even uh, deny, delay or harass this one with the initial circlings or roaches. It's not possible. Unless you get drop overlords, but uh, <laughs> it's quite a commitment. Let's, let's put it that way. But it could work, it could work. So with drops that could be really amazing. But let's see, let's see what happens here. Uh, so far it doesn't look like a typical 2-1-1, to be honest. Uh, Reaper's on its way. Super early greedy third base, oh wow! Okay, so Nexus Special definitely wants to get uh, a lot of eco very fast, so... And he can do that. It is totally fine. With the Reaper, I'm confirming. Oh yeah, this guy got a super early third, which is really annoying. I get a circling for my trouble here. And that's not too bad. Jumping out again. Need to counter repair still the supply depot. That's costing me quite some minerals. Uh, one circling falls, the second one maybe as well. He should pull it back. Uh, but it's dead. So both got one kill. No kill steal. Both are happy. And yeah, this is two not not a two one one. This is a one one one. Where's the there there's the star part. Uh, the Reaper not grabbing the watcher. There we go. Base finished here. And we do see our uh, evolution chamber. The evolution chamber for next is Basher. And pneumatized carapace. Pneumatized Pneumatized Pneu Pneumatized Carapace. Pneumatized carapace. Overlord speed, that's the official uh, name for it. Okay, so speed links are out here as well, and they should grab the watchtower. Uh, he's moving across the map now with those. Let's follow them. Let's see what they can do. How good is my reaction time? Not good at all. This Reaper is super dead. That was so bad. The Reaper could have escaped if I would have uh, pulled it back immediately. When I saw the circlings, I could have escaped. Oh, drop overlord! Look at that! Okay. Um, I do have Hellions, however. <laughs> Let me say, uh, Hellions are really, really good against circlings. Yep. Uh, Hellbats can be even better, but do I see this? Yeah, I could see it. I could, I could see it. Um, and there we go. Oh, I'm pulling back immediately. Not sure if he will get any damage done. Uh, the Overlord will die. The Circlings get maybe one or two. Let's see. Oh, the Hellions! No! There are still Circlings! This is so annoying. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. But I don't think he killed too much there. 
It's okay. So the Viking killed one Overlord. This supply depot still gets damage. Damage. And we have <laughs> Battle Cruiser again. Oh yeah. But let's see if next special can defend better against this Battle Cruiser Harris, which is on Vani can be super strong. Uh, I mean, the bases are spread out fairly wide, so it can be really difficult for Zerg. To, def to to be everywhere with enough Hydrolis, Queens, Corruptor, Viper, whatsoever. And those six Hellions, uh oh Okay, this Overlord is super dead as well. And the Viking already paid for itself. Two vi two Overlord kills is, is worth a Viking. And yeah, here we go, Hellions, boom! Straight into the middle line, getting the Creep Tumor, that's important. Uh, the Hellions safe behind the Bushers, the other one as well. But the road just popped just at the right time and can deflect the Hellion Harris. Income wise, it's looking not too good for Nexus Special here. The first battle cruiser should be done. Where is it? There it is. Who called in the fleet? And with that, oh yeah, Yamato Cannon is ready as well. So, hmm. Normally, that, that's the fun part. Every Yamato Cannon normally means one dead queen. And every dead queen means less inject or less creep spread. So if you can, of course, Zerg can. Uh, it, it's okay for Zerg to lose the queens at some point because he can all, re all all the time remake them. They only cost 150 minerals, and they don't take too long. If you have enough queens banked up, then losing one two queens is not too bad. This, however, is really annoying with the road just killing all the hellions here. But here we have the battle cruiser on its way. And the good part is there's a tank now. And this tank will help a lot. I didn't lose too many Hellions. In fact, not really many Hellions killed there. The battle cruiser helping out the tanks are really helpful. I think one queen died. And mm, attacking the the overlords is not too bad. If I could kill all the overlords, that wouldn't be too bad here. Uh, I will see that he takes this base. Uh, that's that's bad for an Axis Basher. A battle cruiser can kill this. And this Viking should definitely kill all the injured overlords. Here's the Queen. First Queen coming. Battle cruiser seems to be on hold command. And they have enough energy for transfuse. So lots of energy left. But yeah, they don't need too much damage here. Only 7 damage per shot. And I can trade for quite some time against those units. Another battle cruiser here. I will need to TP out now. But this Viking now can kill some overlords. That's not, not bad at all. 2-2 two, two on the way for next expansion as well as the Hydralisk. Interestingly, he never re-established the space. That's a bit odd. But yeah, this this Viking on on a hunting. On a hunt here, killing so much. Five kills. Can he get another one? Oh yeah, six kills. That Viking was definitely worth it. And hmm, yeah, the battle cruiser Harris goes on and goes on. The creep spread not looking too good. And behind that, I can I can get tanks, more battle cruiser, more bases. I can repair this one. Uh, not sure why I'm pulling it away now and it's not fully repaired. But yeah, here we go. Time to strike again. This hatch quite down. Yamato cannon. And there we go. One queen down. Maybe a second one. Ah, good transfuse. So four queens can take out a battle cruiser. Somewhat. But yeah, it's not looking too good here. There's another battle cruiser. There are the Hydralis out of position. The APM not looking too good for both of us. So we are really scrubs at this game. And now he throws down Spore Crawler. They are not too bad. They survive uh, Yamato Cannon as well. So they can buy time. And they are quite cheap. I guess only 75 minerals. And the drone of course. But they, they are really good. Nice focus fire here with the 2-2 two, two upgrade soon. That's, that's good. Yamato Cannon. You can't outrun a Yamato Cannon. You simply can't. Oh! Was that a Hellion or a battle cruiser? Potentially a battle cruiser there. Could be. I'm not sure. 
Hmm, this roach being quite annoying. And there are the battle cruiser. They need to get repaired, but this SUV blocking all the other SUVs, that's not nice. So it will take quite some time. This command center gets delayed. And you can see upgrades are really important. I'm only dealing 5 damage to this roach because it has so much armor. The battle cruiser Harris should go on. Interestingly, because of all of that, Nexus Core has not the highest tech, not the best drone count, it's okay, but could be better. And of course, he, he the most impo important part, he's behind in supply. And now I'm pushing out, oh oh, I should maybe grab the, the Widow Mines with that. And the battle cruiser. Moving out like that can be very dangerous. Uh, there are two battle cruisers as well here, again. <coughs> they can kill quite a lot. Ah, uh, there we go. Tanks are seating up. Hellbats doing a good job as well. And the spore crawler died. The queens should die soon as well. Uh, I'm a little bit spread out too much here, I think. And not enough to buffer here. But yeah, Yamato Cannon did its job. The Hydrolis don't take extra damage. The upgrades are not too good, so the Hydrolis survive quite some shots. Uh, I think I can't one uh, two shot them. Nope. Because of the missing upgrades, I need three shots to kill a Hydrolis, and that's massive. But for Battle Cruiser here in the natural, those gases barely mined, and Zerg Nexus Basher needs the gas. So important. Really important here. I mean, he, he has other bases, but he never... Ah, uh, good, he needs to get this gas going, those gases going. He needs the gas, Viper, and, and somewhat minerals. He's mineral starving, that's that's interesting. So here we go, Yamato Cannon, pew pew pew. Killing more Hydralisk, and then TP out. That's that's looking really good here. Can I get a... Ah, yeah, so close, this, this Hydralisk, so close. Oh, TP back to this base, killing all the roaches. He gets some SCVs, quite a lot to be honest. This is really good. On the other hand, I have mules, so I don't need that many SCVs. So, yeah. He, he donated a lot of roaches here in order to kill a lot of SCVs, but still, uh, it's even. You <laughs> know, it's even. There are the Hydrolis coming. Uh, uh oh. Tanks need to siege up. Uh, interesting scan. Don't know how I knew they would come there. Maybe just safe scan or anticipa uh, anticipation. Idle SCVs, not repairing anything. And I'm still only on one starport. Look at that. Normally I should be on three, like long time ago. But it's working out. <laughs> one starport. Battle cruiser only. Uh, this, however, could be really devastating because I'm losing a lot here. Oh. I should have TP'd out those battle cruiser. Losing battle cruiser is bad. You need to save them. They are so expensive. You should never lose them. With the technical jump, it should be impossible for you to lose battle cruiser unless he's on your doorstep. Hmm. Nexus Special in a lot of trouble here. Oh, the corrosive files hitting. But he can't quite get the battle cruiser. He wants to get one, that's not bad. The SCVs are now there for, for counter repair. And this is really helping out a lot. If I don't lose them, nice micro. He's trying his best, but the supplies tell the story of this game. This should be over. There we go, GG, well played, that's it, Battle Cruiser action, hype! And with that said, I say thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, as always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day, take care, bye bye.